Oh, bit of a cold winter's morning. Uh, I'm at one of the national parks around Sydney, uh, what I believe to be quite a significant indigenous site. Now, for obvious reasons, I won't be giving out any locations. Now, this is only a small cave or an overhanging ledge. Uh, I can see scattered along the floor, lots of uh, middens. Now, middens are a pile of refuge. Uh, in this case here, we're looking at shellfish, lots of shellfish. It would have been gathered around some of the rivers around here, brought back, uh, either thrown on coals, or they could have just crack, cracked them open, eaten them raw. Uh, but what's interesting about this particular cave is it does have a fair bit of rock art. Uh, in this case, as we're looking at hand stencils now, Hand stencils, I can say, are probably one of the earliest forms of rock art in Australia, dating back thousands of years. The age of this cave here, uh, I can't say. I'm not an expert. I don't claim to be an expert. And I would probably leave that to the elders of this particular area. But what I can do is actually take you on a bit of a visual journey and a bit of a tour of the cave. You're going to love it. Okay, so this is quite a good example of some hand stencils. We've got a larger one here, probably would have been an adult, close to my size. A smaller one here, child as well. And they were usually formed using ochre. Now, ochre is a natural mineral found in the soils. Uh, it's usually the hydrated oxidized iron. It could be the black from charcoal as well. The oxidized iron, that would have given you the reds, maybe the, uh, the purples, yellows, those sort of colors there. The blacks would have been the charcoal. Uh, and how it was formed, uh, it would have been mixed with water, uh, churned up a little bit, put in the mouth and basically hand up against the wall and just <laughs> blown, sprayed up into the uh, sandstone. Uh, and it's just basically pretty well a dye hitting inside here. Now the reason they're preserved and, and, and last the distance of time, uh, because they're in a place protection where against the weather. so the giving it uh, longer lasting now you can see it it is scattered through here some of them are a little bit faded uh, but there are a number of them located around this cave all right oh i've got to be careful of those oysters down here um now these are the middens like i said they, they are all across the the floor of this cave uh, we might just gather a few see what we've got uh, you can see that the main part of the diet here uh, was rock oysters, lots of rock oysters here. Uh, and you still find them along the banks, the rock oysters. And cockle shells, I can see thousands, literally thousands of cockle shells here. Uh, and they're still found, they're usually in the sand along the banks of the rivers. Um, now, they probably would have been gathered, brought back here, crushed open with rocks and eaten raw. Now, I do ask if you do come across places like this, respect the area. Uh, place the back, no souvenirs, and most importantly, not to put it on social media because I have been to locations like this that unfortunately have been graffitied. Yeah.